Still, the husband of a woman whose body was found in Brevard County is arrested in West Virginia. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. You're watching News 6 at 530. The sheriff says Brian Estep was trying to get away with murder. Now, this investigation began in January when his wife, Amber Estep, went missing. Brian told investigators they got into a fight and he let her out of his truck. But then the next day, Amber's body was found on the side of State Road 46 in Mims. Brian's truck was found soon after on fire. News 6's James Barbero spoke with Amber's family, who says they are one step closer to getting justice for their loved one. So after learning about the news of Brian Estep's arrest, I'm here right now with Amber's aunt and uncle, Jeff and Patty. Jeff, you have a statement you'd like to read on behalf of your family for how you feel after Brian's arrest. Go ahead. Yes, I do. And we're so thankful that Brian has been arrested. We knew it was coming, and thank God they got him. Amber didn't deserve what happened to her. She didn't deserve to be brutally murdered by someone that was supposed to love and take care of her. How difficult has it been for your family to wait all this time before an arrest was made? Oh, it's been tough because we knew pretty much what was going on, but we, we couldn't speak about it or anything. We just had to keep quiet because they didn't want to spook him. Sheriff Wayne Ivey announced this investigation was ongoing back in January, Sheriff, with Amber's disappearance and then her body being discovered. I know people in Port St. John who wrote to me then. To them, it was obvious what happened. Can you talk about the two months it took for investigators to build their case? Yeah, you know, we knew from the very beginning who most likely did this homicide. Hours after we interviewed him, his truck mysteriously caught fire and burned, but we also wanted to bring together a case that was definitely gonna be one that would hold up in court that would face any scrutiny and we'd be able to win this case and send him to prison for the rest of his life. And you say that Brian moved to West Virginia after the last time that investigators talked with him. Yeah. Do you think he was trying to get away with murder? Oh, I, th I think he was not only trying to get away with murder, I think he was trying to get away from everything that could connect him to that murder. I had a chance to speak with Amber's mom. There will never be anything that takes the pain away in their heart, but this brings a little bit of closure to it, knowing that the person that took her life is behind bars right where he belongs. The sheriff's office returned to the East Step house today. I watched as the crime scene unit worked inside. Next for East Step, he'll be extradited to Brevard County, where he'll face his charges. In Port St. John, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.